Strategy Management Series Video Number 95 Strategy Formulation Step 7 Strategy Evaluation Pricing Strategy Welcome back to the Ready MBA Series on Strategy Management. In our previous sessions, we delved into strategy evaluation, the crucial seventh step of the strategy formulation process. This stage entails scrutinizing potential strategies for their impact, benefits, costs, and resource requirements. We introduced the Strategy Choice Cascade Framework to help the planning team create effective strategies, focusing on, where will we play? In this episode, we'll continue the discussion about defining the product to be offered, with a focus on pricing strategies for products or services to be offered. The motivations behind creating a pricing strategy include profitability, market share capture, competitive positioning, value reflection, meeting customer expectations, and supporting overall marketing goals. Pricing strategies also help maximize revenue, manage costs, and adapt to market changes for long-term business success. Pricing significantly influences demand by affecting perceived value and affordability, impacting sales and revenue. Moreover, pricing plays a crucial role in positioning products or services within the market, conveying quality or affordability signals to customers, thus influencing brand perception and competitive positioning. Therefore, pricing decisions are essential for establishing and maintaining a competitive edge in the market. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to develop pricing strategies and programs according to Kotler and Keller's Marketing Management book. 1. Understand Market Dynamics Begin by conducting thorough market research to understand the dynamics of your industry, including customer needs and preferences, competitor pricing strategies, and overall market trends. 2. Set Pricing Objectives Clearly define your pricing objectives, such as maximizing profit margins, gaining market share, or establishing your product as a premium offering. Your pricing strategy will be tailored to these objectives. 3. Analyze costs. Calculate the costs associated with producing and distributing your product or service. This includes both variable costs, e.g., materials, labor, and fixed costs, e.g., overhead, rent. Understanding your costs is essential for setting profitable prices. 4. Assess customer value. Determine the perceived value of your product or service to your target customers. Consider factors such as quality, features, benefits, and brand reputation. Value-based pricing involves aligning your prices with the value customers perceive in your offering. 5. Evaluate competitor pricing. Analyze the pricing strategies of your competitors to understand how your prices compare. Determine whether you want to price your offering higher, lower, or on par with competitors and assess the potential impact on your market positioning. 6. Select pricing strategy. Choose a pricing strategy that aligns with your pricing objectives, market dynamics, and customer value proposition. Common pricing strategies include cost-based pricing, value-based pricing, competition-based pricing, and dynamic pricing. 7. Develop pricing programs. Design pricing programs and tactics to support your pricing strategy and achieve your objectives. This may include discounts, promotions, bundling, or loyalty programs aimed at attracting customers, increasing sales, or improving customer retention. 8. Implement and monitor. Implement your pricing strategy and programs across your target markets. Continuously monitor pricing performance and market conditions to assess the effectiveness of your pricing decisions. Make adjustments as needed to optimize pricing outcomes. 9. Consider regulatory and ethical factors. Ensure that your pricing practices comply with relevant regulations and ethical standards. Avoid deceptive pricing practices or anti-competitive behavior that could harm your reputation or lead to legal repercussions. 10. Review and adapt. Regularly review your pricing strategy and programs to ensure they remain aligned with changing market conditions, customer preferences, and business goals. Adapt your pricing approach as needed to maintain competitiveness and drive long-term profitability.
By following these steps, businesses can develop effective pricing strategies and programs that support their overall strategic objectives and contribute to sustainable growth and success in the marketplace. Now let's take a closer look on the common pricing strategies, including cost-based pricing, value-based pricing, competition-based pricing, dynamic, and auction-type pricing. 1. Cost-Based Pricing Cost-based pricing involves setting prices based on the costs associated with producing, distributing, and selling a product or service. This approach typically includes adding a markup to the cost of production to ensure a profit margin. There are three main methods of cost-based pricing. Cost plus pricing. In cost plus pricing, a markup is added to the total cost of production to determine the selling price. The markup can be expressed as a percentage of the cost or as a fixed amount. Break-even pricing. Break-even pricing aims to cover all costs and achieve a target profit margin by setting prices at the point where total revenue equals total costs. This approach is often used for new products or services to ensure that costs are fully covered before profits are realized. Target return pricing. Target return pricing involves setting prices to achieve a predetermined profit margin, working backward from desired financial goals. It requires understanding cost structures and sales projections to determine the price needed to meet profit objectives. 2. Value-based pricing. Value-based pricing focuses on setting prices based on the perceived value of the product or service to the customer. Instead of considering only production costs, value-based pricing takes into account the benefits and value that customers receive from the offering. Key steps in value-based pricing include Customer Value Assessment Identify the key benefits and attributes that customers value most in the product or service. Price Differentiation Segment customers based on their willingness to pay and set prices accordingly to capture maximum value. Communicate value proposition. Clearly communicate the value proposition to customers to justify the premium price and differentiate the offering from competitors. 3. Competition-based pricing. Competition-based pricing involves setting prices based on the prices charged by competitors in the market. This strategy takes into account the prices of similar products or services offered by competitors and aims to position the offering competitively. Common approaches to competition-based pricing include Price matching Setting prices at or slightly below competitors' prices to remain competitive and attract price-sensitive customers. Price leadership Setting prices slightly above competitors' prices to signal higher quality or value and establish leadership in the market. Price differentiation Offering unique features or benefits that justify higher prices compared to competitors. Everyday low pricing setting consistently low prices with minimal or no discounts. It aims to build customer loyalty and simplify pricing decisions for both customers and retailers. 4. Dynamic Pricing Dynamic pricing, also known as demand-based pricing or surge pricing, involves adjusting prices in real time based on changes in demand, supply, or market conditions. This strategy allows companies to optimize prices to maximize revenue and profit. Key elements of dynamic pricing include Demand forecasting Use data analytics and algorithms to forecast demand patterns and adjust prices accordingly. Price discrimination Segment customers based on factors such as willingness to pay, time of purchase, or location, and set prices accordingly to capture maximum value. Real-time adjustments Continuously monitor market conditions and competitor prices to make timely adjustments to pricing strategies and tactics. 5. Auction Type Pricing Auction type pricing involves setting prices through competitive bidding processes, where buyers bid against each other to determine the final price of a product or service. This approach is commonly used in online auctions or bidding platforms and allows prices to fluctuate based on demand and competition. Dutch auction is an auction model where the price starts high and decreases until a buyer accepts. In English auctions conversely, bidding starts low and increases until no one is willing to bid higher. Lastly, in sealed bid auctions, 
buyers submit bids without knowing the bids of others. By understanding and applying these pricing strategies, businesses can effectively set prices that align with their objectives, customer value proposition, and competitive landscape, ultimately driving profitability and success in the market. And this concludes our episode about service strategy to help the planning team define the product offering for the strategy being evaluated. Please be sure to check our next episodes where we will continue the discussion of the strategy choice cascade framework, focusing on demand curves and their analysis. Until then, keep strategizing. See you soon.